Welcome back to another episode in my kitchen. So a nice plantain sweet fritter with some nice white chocolate banana cream and a couple of other little things. So let's talk about the ingredients. Divided these ingredients into three categories really. Left side, right side and this bowl. So this bowl is generally for garnish. We've got some crystallised or stem ginger with some mint leaves. That's just for garnish. We've got a nice ripe plantain. I like them when they're really dark. Just means the starch or the carbohydrates has turned to sugar, but you don't want it to be squidgy. So it's nice and firm. We have a heaped tablespoon of coconut sugar. Do substitute ingredients. This is just what I'm doing. We have the same amount of rice flour and give a nice crisp texture. We have just over a cup of potato starch, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and we're going to be using some vanilla extract. That's going to go in the banana mousse. We've got a little bit of uh, Ponzi, almost pretentious, but this is the type of dessert it is. This got me through number three in the Curry Awards recently, not just on the dessert, but we have some gold spray. You're going to see how we're going to garnish the dish. So what we have on the left, if those bananas were, were riper, starting to darken, such as the plantain, I'd be happy. But these are the ripest bananas I can find. So two bananas, we're going to use some dark chocolate, some white chocolate, talked about the vanilla, and we've got some double cream. So let's get cooking. First of all, we're going to make, and just utensils, we're going to need a whisk, we're going to need a serving plate, we're going to need a bowl, we're going to need optional really but you'll see what I'm going to do with that we're going to get the shape of the cream I'm going to put it in the fridge to set and we're going to do a little bit of chocolate work with some greaseproof paper and just as importantly we have a bowl of oil that we're going to use to pan fry our plantain so first of all we're going to make the batter for the plantain so in with the starch potato starch it's been sifted in with the rice flour in with the cinnamon, in with the coconut sugar, and that's it. And we're just going to use a little bit of water and we're going to whip that up into a nice, quite a loose paste. So just like so with a whisk, that's smelling absolutely sensational already. So that's that done, that can go to the side. Next we're going to peel the plantain, just uh, cut it in a millimetre or two. If you can't find plantain, you can use a banana. So we want it I'm making more than I need for one dish. So scale it down. I'm going to be uh, dipping into the fridge for this but what you've seen presented on the thumbnail is uh, just for one serving. There we go. So cut down the middle and we're just going to put that to the side and we're going to come back and we're going to make our banana cream. So what we do, we get about 75 grams of white chocolate, we put it into the microwave and we want it to be melted. Then we're just going to put our double cream into the bowl, we're going to put, if I can find it, a little bit of vanilla, like two teaspoons of vanilla into it. And we're going to melt our chocolate, we'll come back. So while your chocolate's melting in the microwave, mash your bananas into a paste. So melted chocolate in, don't want to put the melted chocolate in too hot. You want it to cool down a bit. So what I've done is put a little bit of the cream in with the melted chocolate and give it a mix. So two mashed bananas in. So we're just ready to really whip that up now. Ferociously for maybe a minute. So there we are with our cream. I added another 75 millilitres, um, sorry, 
75 grams of chocolate and all we're going to do for the single dessert is put it into one of these little um, what would you call it round things that so uh, we've over poured a little bit but that's fine now into the freezer 20 minutes it's fine and we're going to end up with this nice almost like an ice cream vanilla and banana so what we do now we get some grease proof plate paper a little bit of it on the surface so we've got some dark chocolate about 80 grams of dark chocolate melted and uh, about 25 grams of white chocolate melted so we're just going to pour it onto the greaseproof paper probably done a little bit much it's fine you can really play around with this recipe there's nothing setting stone because it is a an adventure and an invention just want to spread that a little bit uh, thin because we're going to put that in the fridge also want it a couple of millimeters thick and then we can heart it'll set in the fridge just like that and we can cut it up into nice pieces so what I'm going to do is just let that set a little bit here just cool down naturally and I'm going to put some uh, white onto it so it'll all come so that's cooled down a little that's fine that's going to look great a little bit left over quite a, f a finicky little recipe a lot of components but it's all worth it you've clicked on the thumbnail looks fantastic and it's the perfect after food for a curry or the perfect dessert for a curry so we're going to put that in the fridge now let it set now it's time to heat up our oil for the uh, plantain fritters so oil's hot what we've got is our um, dip a reminder our plantain we're just going to dip the plantain into the dip and we're going to fry it on a medium high heat like so good to have uh, some kitchen paper a slotted spoon on a plate ready to drain so when they basically float to the top and simmer down you've got some uh, of that sugar there so you get some nice dark effects so all we're going to do is take those out and let them uh, ooze off onto the kitchen paper so there's the chocolate work we worked on earlier nice sharp knife so it doesn't crack and we want a nice triangle of chocolate could have left it in the fridge a little bit longer that was about half an hour see the underside's a little bit sticky, but learn from my mistake. But you'll see it all plated up now. So get your presentation plate. Got this that's been in the freezer. Whoops a daisy. This channel's so real, isn't it? A lot of people would have just edited that out. So let's just push that down. So we've got our uh, simple as that. What we want to do: a little bit of gold spray, a little bit pompous, but really award-winning. It got me through to the uh, number three place in the UK the other day, so I'm quite happy with it. So, a couple of mint leaves. Well, four, three, and then we've got our little piece of chocolate that's going to go on it. And last, but by no means least, 
stem ginger, what I did, I cut it up into nice little juliennes, put it in water so it's not really sticky, and we can place that on the plantain, a little bit on the plate. So that's it, yeah, a little bit of fanfare. But that is a really nice dessert for after a curry, trust me. Tried and tested method. Very avant-garde for those who don't know what that means. Experimental. But thank you very much for watching. I hope that wasn't too much of a conundrum and a concoction of uh, ingredients and techniques. But it's, it's worth it. Um, so I think the dish speaks for itself. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like, share and subscribe.